This video contains spoilers from The Haunting of Villa Diodati. Go and watch that first before you watch this. Oh, Doctor, what have you done? My high expectations for this story meant Episode 8 had a lot to live up to. And, long story short, I think it's safe to say I'm impressed. This has got to be the best Whitaker has ever performed. And the Doctor is on so much turmoil right now. I just don't know what's coming next. Every scene was brilliant and her acting at the end made me feel every word. That's what we've been waiting for. Ryan was pretty solid in this episode also. And I think this is his most enjoyable performance. Especially the piano scene. Love Jazz in this episode. She really is living up to the reckless companion as she seems to be the one who is running into danger first. I think this is going to catch up with her during the events of the finale. As for this story, really enjoyable yet again. Graham was excellent in this episode. This is by far his best if you ask me. Loved the scene with him and the bathroom and, of course, the guarding of the sleepwalker. I really loved Polidori. Maxim Brady was excellent in years and years, so I'm not surprised. Loved how he wasn't all nicey-nicey, and as a result, he was a very believable character, and, once again, very enjoyable. Lord Byron was also a fabulous character. I totally believed him in all his scenes, and his speech at the end, judging the circumstances, was chilling. And Mary Shelley was incredible! One of our strongest guest stars to date. She was absolutely fantastic at handling that Cyberman, and her chemistry with every single one of the companions was on point. I kinda want to see her again. Well, that twist caused my jaw to drop for the whole episode. It was literally getting better and better every second. The stakes were getting higher, and there were so many questions running through my head. Unlike Fugitive of the Jadoon, most of them were answered. Apart from the ghosts, of course. What an amazing episode! I will be re-watching this, and I am sure this one I will be enjoying for years to come. But what about that villain? It's Villain Franken! So we finally got a Frankenstein Cyberman. I've had this idea for years and Doctor Who really delivered on this idea. Having parts of the human face visible was chilling and terrifying. I was really scared of them. So where does this episode rank? It has to be up there at the top. I have a feeling this one will be moving up, but for now, it's third. But what did you think of this episode? Let us know in the comments below or in the poll. It was brilliant! The finale is next week! The Cybermen are heading to the future, and a very, very important part of the future at that. It's the beginning of the end next week at 10 past 7. If you're new, feel free to click the red button below to join the adventure. We'll be reviewing the finale next week. I've been Christopher. And I've been Lewis. And you've been... Brilliant! Every night, every day, cause we are so, 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 so into it. Don't think I could ever quit. Rest in 2005, it's taken over our life.